Hello, my name is Larry Kruger. My wife Norma and I have been attending Bethel for about eight years. Today, I have the privilege of bringing to you this week's mid-devotion, which just happens to be the first one of this year, 2022. Happy New Year. I don't know about you, but last year, and in fact, the last two years have been very trying for all of us. And you want to know a secret? God has been with us every step of the way. We read in Philippians 4, verses 4 to 8, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. You know, a lot of things have happened over the last year. Some of you may have had COVID or maybe someone in your family. Maybe a family member or a close friend has died. Maybe you lost your job. There's so many other issues. I know that I have experienced limitations in family and friends visits in the last year. I've also had exposure to someone dying over four times this past year, a neighbor, an acquaintance, a friend's close, a close friend's mother, and a close friend. Times are tough, but God is still there, and he tells us not to fear. You know, I read a book lately by Max Licato, which is called Anxious for Nothing, in which he uses the acronym CALM, C-A-L-M. I think we should use this in our daily walk with God. The C is for celebrate. How will I express my joy for God's goodness today, for my family, for my job, for my health, for today? Just everything that we have that we can be thankful to God for. Celebrate. How can I express that today? The A is for ask God. Let your requests be made known to God. Be as specific as possible. The L is for leave. He is with you and he hears you. He is your best companion and he walks with you and he'll look after you and your concerns. Empty your backpack to God. He is good. An example that I had on that is a, a few years ago, I had to give a sermon at Calvary Lutheran Church in Edmonton. I prayed about it. I asked for God's guidance and help. I stood up at the lectern to give the sermon and my notes got mixed up. And in fact, I think they fell on the floor. I went to give the message and I was completely flustered. I realized at that point that God was in control, that he was going to look after me. I actually walked away from the lectern and I did an ad lib on the sermon that I was to give that day. No, I guess I, guess I should be mistaken on that. I didn't do an ad lib, God did. He worked through me, he ad lib. So the L in calm is for leave. Once you, once you ask him for it, you have to leave it with him. You have to trust that he will look after your concerns. The M is for meditate. Meditate on all good things that he provides for you and for me. We follow this, we can experience the peace in spite of the problems and the encounters that we have in life. I can vouch for this about a mentor that I had in my life. His name was Carl. Whenever you asked Carl how he was doing, he would say, fantastically wonderful. Carl was a devout Christian. He was a long distance runner. 
Unfortunately, at the age of 64, he found out he had cancer. I saw him in the hospital and I saw him at home before he died. He had the same reply when I greeted him. Fantastically wonderful. How are you? In fact, he ended up praying for me in the hospital in a genuine, sincere, spiritual way. Carl died shortly after this, but I know that he put God first in his life and he was really anxious for nothing. He knew that God was in control and he had a peace in knowing this. Maybe all experience this each day of our lives, each day of 2022 and every day thereafter. And we can sing to meditate as well. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you spoke to the storms. Would you speak to ours? You calmed the hearts of the apostles. Would you calm the chaos within us? You told them to fear not. Say the same to us. We are weary from worry, battered and belittled by the gales of life. O Prince of Peace, bequeath to us the spirit of calm. Quench anxiety, stir up courage. Let us know less fret and more faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.